Welcome to Get Creative and I'm recording this the day before on the Friday uh, and what I'm going to do is show you how to make a football card like this but we're celebrating World Cup football not that I've ever seen a match in my life I couldn't I wouldn't know what the heck that's going on uh, but I'm going to show you how to make a basic shirt uh, but you can do that in any background papers you want and uh, you can do it for Father's Day, you can do it for Dad's birthday. It's good for a male or a female that's into football. Or just a shirt, you could add uh, ties or dicky bows to it. Anyway, I'm going to show you that in a minute. But, if you watch the demonstration for that, I'm going to show you the downloads that you're going to get for free. So you can mix and match and do your own footballs. I've got a, most of the basic colours here. I've got the dark blue there, so if your team plays in dark blue or more of a medium blue there, you've got a light blue and then you've got a very pale blue as well. You've got green and you've also got uh, this red here. You've got the burgundy. That would also double up as an orange if you wanted it to. You've got burgundy, you've got the plain white football background paper and you've got the yellow there too now i'm also giving you today these sentiment sheets now you can put on here happy birthday or whatever you want you're getting get three of those colors all together you're getting the blue white and you're also getting this gold one as well as i said what i'm going to show you is how to make these shirts these are some of the football shirts i've got one here now you could turn that into a card on its own if you want and they can just open that if you stick a little bit of paper on the inside and insert you can write on there happy birthday and what happens is that folds up and it just goes underneath the collars there on the shirt and that holds it in place now you can do a long bodied version or you can do a, a, a short version that's a short one there's just a very thin cheap paper but it's still made a nice shirt you can use stripy paper now you can use card as well if you want this is 160 gram i wouldn't go any thicker than that because it's uh, you know it's quite difficult to keep it in position but these are the different kind of shirts that you're going to be able to make um there is the shirt card that i'm going to show you how to make there so that's the basic fold of the shirt a bit of green and a sentiment on there now listen that's for you to download for free but if you go on allenandbarry.co.uk we're adding more and more footballs all the time and football related projects and on there soon will be a football channel showing you lots of demonstrations and ideas and that but we're adding that day by day so if, if your color combination is not not there let us know say i want it in pink and turquoise well just let us know but i think we've covered most of the colors i think there's about 50 versions going on there bit by bit uh, anyway enjoy making that that's your get creative download for this week and keep watching us on alanandbarry.co.uk now i'm going to show you how to make a simple shirt like that from any kind of background i've got a, some variants here I've got one here with a football design on, similar to what we're going to make now. now. You can see one of them's got a long body on the shirt, one's got a short one. I'll show you how we do that. Now you choose which backing papers you want to use. I've got a nice red one here that'll match the team that I like. So what I'm going to do, to get a long version here, if I turn this over and if I kind of just measure it, now... The, the width, the, the, the length is determined by how much you turn over here. So I'm just going to do a little bit here. I'm just going to mark it across the back with an embossing tool. So that will bend easily like that. And I'm just going to fold that over. Like so. That will give me a nice long shirt. If I folded it over more like that, then I'd get a shorter shirt. Now, next what I'm going to do is take my backing paper and just fold this in half. Try and get this as accurately as possible. Like that. Like so. 
Now then you can open that up and then fold into the middle each side. So I'm folding in there like that. Turn it round and I'm going to fold in again to the middle. So you get a nice long rectangle. You can take your time to get that as accurately as possible. So I've got my long rectangle here. Now I just need to turn it over. This is the top. Now I need to fold this over. This is going to become the collar. I folded that over there. If you want to use a boning tool to get really good creases in the paper, that's good. Then fold it back again. And then what we're going to do is you're not going to fold it like that so you get a triangle. You need to fold it so we're going to create a V. So this needs to fold like that. So it's like a, a long triangle. Basically, this is the collar. And you need this bit for when you fold the bottom up. The bottom will just, just go underneath there and it will hold everything in place. So do the same with the opposite side. And you just have to fiddle a little bit. Get the joints moving, um, meeting there, and again just press it down. And I say just use a boning tool to help if you want. Right now, next, what we're going to do is fold these back. Now, you'll find you'll get a natural fold. You just run it from there up to there, just fold those edges in. These are going to become the sleeves. So once you've done this once or twice, it'll become second nature. And again, I'm going to use a boning tool. So these are going to become the sleeves and then match that up. Fold this over again, like so. So they are equal there. And just press that down. Make it a good, strong fold. Now what you're going to do, it's going to all come together. This is going to fold up like that. Now the idea is when you fold it over, slot it under the collar there and get it in the right position so it's equal either side. And then that will help you to give you a natural crease down at the bottom so it all fits nicely, like so. Once you've got it in there, you can just use your boning tool to make sure that's in a really good position. And then you end up with a shirt. Now it's great if you're using a paper that's got a white border around it, it naturally creates little borders on the sleeves and the collars, which I think is quite nifty. Now you can also do something like this if you want to. You could turn that into a proper card and you can open that up. And if you just put a little bit of paper on the inside, you've got a card there, you can, you've got your little insert and then people can just close that up and slot that in like that. So there's various ways of doing this. You can use all sorts of different papers. You could do this great for Father's Day. You could add a tie to them if you want. I say that's a slightly longer one because I didn't do much of a turnover at the bottom. There's another one here using the white footballs. You could use stripe paper. And you can even use card. I've done this one in card, but it was an 160 gram card, which I think is probably the thickness that you can use. Mm, I wouldn't go any higher than that. So there's an example there of just some of the shirts that you can make and uh, you can decorate them. You've got the basics there. You can do what you want with them after that. Now I've made my shirt up and I've done a football shirt in red. I'm going to make a very simple card. I've just got an A4 here which I've folded in half. Now what I've done here, I've taken some of the green football paper at the back. It kind of represents the grass that you play on. So I've just stuck that onto a piece of gold or silver card here. And now I'm just going to stick this onto the front of the card. A little bit of glue on there. And... Turn that over, make sure I'm getting it the right way. That should fit exactly then down there, like so. And next you can play around. I've got the card there like that. Then you can play around how you want the shirt. I'm going to put it like that, but you could have put it 
like that if you want to or like that or like that in the middle but I'm going to do it on a little angle here you decide whether you want it to fit the whole thing into a card an envelope or you might need a bigger envelope so all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on the back here don't forget don't glue the part that's going to stick out at the top so I think just some glue down there two thirds there will be fine and I'm going to stick that on there a little bit of an angle and there's my shirt don't forget you can open that up there and have a little message put a little insert there and that's going to be held in place now by the collar let me just flap that down flap flap so there's the basic card and I've also taken one of the sentiment sheets there you could put on this happy birthday or happy father's day I've got a double-sided foam pad on the back I'm just going to stick that down on here and just slightly overlapping the green so there's my basic card finished but you can decorate it any way you want